Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, then now you know. And you guys, today I'm going to be going over my top five favorite top handle bags that I have in my collection. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kenzie. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get it into the video. So, just to start off things, if you may have noticed, hopefully you can tell, but I did get a new camera, so hopefully the quality is better. I am still working with the settings a little bit, so I do apologize if the audio or the video is not like you're used to. I think the video quality is definitely better, but do be sure to let me know. But yes, today we're doing my top five favorite top handle bags that I have in my collection. And with all of these videos, number five is going to be my least favorite of the top handle bags. And then number one is going to be my all time favorite top handle bag in the collection. So let's just get started with number five. So in the number five category, I have two bags. So they're gonna be relatively the same. So I do have my Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. You've seen this bag millions and millions of times. This is one of my favorite top handle bags that I have in my collection in general. This was also shown in my favorite crossbody bags. I'm trying not to do too many repeats because I do know that you guys have seen this bag. So there shouldn't be too many repeats in this video, but I did have to put these two bags in this video because just as much as they are worn crossbody, they're also worn top handle. Like, I really believe that you can wear each of these bags both ways all the time. So, of course, my Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy, and then my Louis Vuitton Keep All. This is the Keep All XS, and this one I also believe is a beautiful, fantastic top handle. Believe it or not, I wear these bags top handle just as much as I wear them crossbody. I love wearing these bags crossbody, but from time to time, I do wear them top handle as well. I think they are amazing top handle bags if you are into top handles. I know a lot of people don't even like top handle bags. They're just like, absolutely not. Give me a shoulder strap. Give me a crossbody strap. <laughs> and I totally understand that. Top handle can be kind of limiting because you can literally only wear it one way but I personally love a good top handle bag. So yeah, those are going to be at my number five spot. Number four on this list is going to be my Songmont Luna bag, specifically in the dumpling shape. This is one of my favorite ways to wear this bag. It's so stinking cute. There are multiple ways that you can wear this bag. You can convert it into a shoulder bag. You can convert it into a crossbody bag. It's very versatile, but this is one of the ways you can wear it. And I think it's just adorable. Songmont, if you have not heard of them, are a more contemporary brand. They are a Chinese based brand. I'm not 100% sure if they're still based out of China or if they're in Canada. I feel like whenever I order something from Songmont, I feel like it comes from Canada. Or maybe it comes from China. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that they are a Chinese based brand. They are more of an indie brand. They're on that more contemporary side. So they fall into the price point of things like Marc Jacobs, Tory Burch, Longchamp, Coach vibes. This bag right here is $350. So definitely on that contemporary price point, nothing too crazy, but a fantastic handbag for the quality. You can fit a pretty decent amount of stuff in here. The only thing that I will say that I don't love about having the dumpling shape is that it's kind of hard to get into once you're in this shape. You can get your stuff in and out. It's just a bit more difficult. That's the reason why it's so low on this list. But other than that, I absolutely love the vibe of this bag. I love the look of the bag. It is very classy, very chic. You can really wear this with anything. You can wear it casually or you can wear it more dressed up, going to like a dinner party or like an event or something like that perfect and doesn't break the bank either, which we love. Number three on this list is going to be a bag that you guys have not seen yet in this series. And the reason you haven't seen it is because this bag can literally only be worn top handle. And that is going to be the Bottega Veneta Mini Jody. Yes, I have not shown this beautiful Darlin handbag in any of these videos so far because it can't be worn as a shoulder bag. It can't be worn as a crossbody. It's 
not an everyday bag, I'll tell you that right now, but it is a fantastic cute little top handle. I absolutely adore this bag. I still wear this bag all the time. I'm actually really excited for winter to come around. I'm not wishing fall away. Fall is my favorite season. Like winter and fall are my favorite seasons, but I think fall is starting to like overtake winter just a tiny bit. I still think winter takes the cake a little bit because it has Christmas. But I'm not, I don't know, I love fall so much. But when it does get into the winter months, November, December, I will definitely be wearing this and I can pair this with like a brown coat or one of my white coats. It would look so beautiful, like a pop of icy green. This bag right here is solely a top handle. All This is all she can do. Or if you're lucky, depending on what you're wearing, you can throw her on the crook of your elbow like this. I personally don't really ever have an issue getting inside of her. I know that the closure thing is a bit annoying for a lot of people, but I've never really had that much of an issue. Like I understand that it's a bit fiddly, like I get it, but I don't know. I've never found it too hard. I love that it's so iconic. It's literally Bottega's, in my opinion, Bottega's number one handbag. I know they're coming out with a lot of other styles like the Andiamo bag, which I also love a lot, but I just still really love the mini Jody. It's so iconic, but then it's also a little understated as well because I feel like everybody that knows about fashion will know exactly what this is. They'll be able to spot it like that. But people that don't know about fashion or if they don't know the fashion houses or anything like that, then they still won't know. They'll just think it's a very intricate looking bag, kind of funky looking bag, and they won't know that it's a luxury handbag. It still is pretty under the radar in my opinion, but if you are gonna be around people that are into fashion or if they're already kind of acclimated into the fashion sphere, then they're gonna automatically know what this is. It is a mini bag, it's the mini Jody, so it's not gonna fit many things. I honestly think that the Nano Speedy from Louis Vuitton fits more than the Mini Jody. Number two on this list is going to be a new obsession of mine. Another Song Mon bag, mind you, so it's definitely going to be in that lower price range. This one does retail for $420, so it is on the lower end, but it's definitely a little more expensive than the Songmont Luna bag. But this is the brand new Songmont Drippy Roof bag, and I did not think that I was going to be this obsessed with this bag. I love this bag. I think it's such a cool design. Like, I've never seen anything this innovative before, I guess, when it comes to a handbag. Like, I just think it's so fun. You have these two, like, ears or, like, wings on the side where you can, like, fit your phone. You can fit any kind of other things that you need, like, easy access to. It's really spacious on the inside. Like, it's very, very roomy. It's got this beautiful chocolate interior. You can technically crossbody this bag. It does come with a crossbody strap, but I personally just think it looks so much better as a top handle. I think if it was on your hip or something, it's just the shape is a little off in my opinion for it to be a crossbody. So I personally love top handling this bag. I get a lot of questions about this bag when I carry it. People are like, oh my God, where'd you get that bag? Who's it by? I like it a lot kind of thing. I'm just, I love it. I, I really, really am into it. And I love the fact that it's a really nice price point. It's not like super expensive or anything like that. It's more on the contemporary side and again, it's full leather as well. This one here has feet where the Song Mont Luna does not have feet. And I just think you genuinely cannot go wrong with this bag. So yeah, that is going to be the number two spot on this list. I'm obsessed with this bag. And then you guys, number one on my list for the best top handle bag that I have in my collection is going to be another Jody bag. This is the Bottega Veneta Teen Jody. This is the exact same bag as this one, the Mini Jody, except this one is in the teen size. So you have the Mini Jody. Technically, they have one that's smaller. It's called like the Candy Jody. It's teeny tiny. But then you have the Mini size, and then you have the teen size. So you can tell a huge difference. Like <laughs> this, this is massive compared to this. It works really, really well. This bag is literally the best of both worlds when it comes to the Bottega Jody, in my opinion. You have a much 
bigger capacity. Like it's not so big to where it's like the small Jody. The small Jody is huge. I think you can even like fully shoulder bag the small Jody. And then the medium Jody is like a crossbody bag. Like it's insanely big. But this one, you can easily top handle this bag. You can easily put it on the crook of your arm like this, or depending on what you're wearing, you can throw it on your shoulder. Now I did not put this bag on my list for my best shoulder bags because I usually don't carry this as a shoulder bag. I can sometimes if I'm wearing something thin like a t-shirt or like a very thin sweater but this one if you wear anything that's like too thick or a thicker sweater or a jacket you're not going to be able to fully fit it on your shoulder. I don't think this is really meant to be a shoulder bag. Typically I wear this as a top handle or on the crook of my elbow. It literally gives you enough room to fit everything. This is basically a tote bag because it's not a tote bag style, but you can literally basically fit everything that you would in this bag. I that you would a tote bag. It's insane. And then if you can tell, I did get this one in this beautiful suede material instead of leather. And I this one is kind of in this taupe color and it's got a very slight tinge of green very very slight it's not green in person but i know on camera it might look a tiny bit green this one is going to be the most expensive bag on this list just because it is bigger it has more material yeah so this one is going to be the most expensive bag but i do think that it's definitely worth it especially if you want this to be an everyday bag if you want to wear this all year round i personally think that the suede in this taupe color can be worn all the time all year round summer winter fall maybe spring would be the only time i wouldn't wear this bag but you can wear it for three seasons out of the whole year. So you can get a ton of wear out of this bag. But yeah, you guys, those have been my top five favorite top handle bags that I have in my collection. Let me know in the comments what you thought of my list. And then if you also collect handbags, let me know in the comments what your favorite top handle bags in your collection are. Or just leave me a comment down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you again for watching this video today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to and be sure to ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and you guys I'll see you in the next video bye